Yeah, man. Yo. What we eat, man? This guy, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Some chicken yeah, chow man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Chicken yeah, chow That's right. Man. That's right. Yeah. All right, motherfuckers. What's good? Now, I got a video for y'all. It's an 06 Toyota Sienna. On this chompy, I'm going to show you guys how to use the uh, vacuum machine thingy. When you're doing an AC job, you want to remove moisture, dirt. You did an AC flush, you replace the accumulator, AC dryer, I mean receiver and dryer, um, H, H uh, what do you call it, uh, expansion valve, whatever, condenser, whatever you want to do, you just want to do a quick vacuum and shit. So of course you can get this thing from um, the vacuum pump from this Pittsburgh, you get it from Harbor Freights and shit. Costs a little bit under $100, some of them cost a little bit over, either way is good. So that's what that is, and what you see right here is my manifold gauge set up and shit, and that's what I'm going to be using to help draw the fucking vacuum and shit, pretty much and shit. Pretty much this is my damn near interface and shit. So, um, to begin this, pretty much what you want to do is, I already got it started for you, so I took this uh, yellow hose. Make sure these hoses are fucking tight, like tight as fuck, these brass fittings and shit. This Harbor Freight, they never fucking certain, you got to be certain for them. So, um, make sure that's on tight, so that's on tight. So I took the yellow hose, connect the fit into the uh, pump itself, make sure that's tight. And before I start the pump, there's a sight glass that you can see for the oil level, make sure it is at the uh, level marking, and it is. So I'm gonna, well, I'm not gonna turn on the switch, but here's the switch over here on the side if you see it. And then next, gonna go up here real quick. Um, I already took off my service. Um, caps for the uh, ports and shit so pretty much I got the low side and the uh, high side and I'm going to connect my fittings so take the blue off and I'm going to put it on mind you the system is already evacuated if you want to know how to evacuate the uh, refrigerator out of a system take it to a fucking shop if you can't take it to a shop you know the do I ain't saying nothing that ain't my fucking business and shit so for the most part my system is completely empty bone dry and shit because I put a new compressor in there down in there and I'm filled up with oil, ready to go. So the next thing I need to do is vacuum for like five, 10 minutes and shit. So pressing it down and you wanna lift up on this tab and press down all the way. And you should, and once it lock, you'll fill the seat in and you shouldn't be able to pull it up. And make sure the valve is um, closed, twisted all the way to the left. And then next you're gonna take your red one and gonna connect it to this port and Got it locked on, good, everything is closed. So next, what I want to do is, real simple, I want to turn on the pump. Well, before you do that, make sure the valves on the manifold is closed as well. Make sure your pressure readings, everything is at zero. Excuse the uh, sight glass, it's a little foggy, but make sure everything is at zero, that's at zero. So pretty much what I want to do is turn on the switch. Switch is on. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the manifold. So I'm good, I'm good, I'm Gucci. Now, what you wanna do is, you wanna open up the valves. So twist it all the way to the right. So the valves are open. And now, this is the important part. So pretty much next, what you wanna do is, you wanna open up the valves on the uh, manifold, and that'll create the vacuum. And you'll know once it's vacuum, when you see both gauges, mainly, this gauge, see entrance uh, vacuum right here. Um, pretty much you wanna see it draw down to 30, pretty much. So this is at zero, but anything past zero is reading vacuum. You won't have that indication on the hot side, but the same. So go ahead and open it. See how the compressor start to change? And you'll notice smoke and shit coming out, but that doesn't have, they had a filter on it. This has been used a million times. We need a new one, whatever. It does not have a filter, but just throw a fucking rag over it. It'll be alright. So, draw on the vacuum, and um, pretty much, let me put the camera down so you guys can see me. Pretty much, what you want to do this is for like, uh, I'm going to do this for five to ten minutes. Probably ten minutes. Um, just help um, make sure the AC system is at top notch, performing good, it's cold and everything. Some people don't need to do this, some people do, don't. I mean, some people need to do this, some people don't. I like to do this, it's part of the fucking job. I got this process from the fucking dealership and um, being in um, shops like this and going to Harbor Freights and they have the fucking pump and I can get the manifold gauges myself. I can do this whole job myself, it's fucking simple and shit. So, um, there you have it. 
And you got something to say for my camera? For YouTube, bro? Keep doing it, bro. We yeah. all love it, That's man. what the fuck we doing over here. Right. So yeah, that's that. How to fucking use a vacuum pump. And I'm signing the fuck off. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and shit. Also, forgot to mention my Russian ass. When you wanna... Time is up. You done vacuuming. You wanna shut off the whole thing. Pretty much what you wanna do is, uh, while it's drawing the vacuum, go ahead and close the valve on the manifold. Close it at the service ports. Close this too. And you'll notice the change in sound of the uh, pump. And go ahead and uh, shut it off. And that's that real simple.